pasta. And then on the way back, I got a Mackey's. I got nine nugs. Someone tell me why I didn't get 20. It was my friend Daisy's birthday, so we went to the Ivy Asia. I love sushi, so I was so excited to try it. Look how stunning it is in here. The ceiling was covered in lush pink flowers. And look at the floor. I'm literally obsessed. I had spicy tuna sushi. I actually attempted to use the chopsticks, and I could do it. I was very proud of myself. These chili noodles are way too spicy for me. And then I had some sticky rice. It was kind of annoying, though, because the noodles and the rice came ages after the sushi. For dessert, I had hot caramel on white chocolate ice cream. Look how absolutely gorgeous that looks. This was a golden rabbit dessert, and this was a brownie with a little horseshoe on it. How cute is that? If you're from the Ivy and you're seeing this, um, this This was a big day for me. I have been considering eating meat again and I just feel like my energy levels and what I've researched, there is a lot of nutrients and benefits to eating organic, grass-fed, high-quality meat. So yeah, after I finished shoot, I had a dinner with some friends and I've heard the meat was really good there. So what I eat in a day. This is from last week and I literally forgot to upload it. I made cute heart omelettes. How stunning are they? My Valentine's plate and I made a cup of my little Valentine's mug. The love I have for Toby Carvery is just unmatched and the mac and cheese is just stunning. Always put my stuffing in my Yorkshire and then fill the Yorkshire with gravy and this was absolutely gorgeous. Went with my mum and nan and they absolutely love it here as well. I always go for beef and gammon at Toby Carvery. The mac and cheese, cauliflower cheese, and mash combo is just elite. And I actually ate the whole thing. Then for tea, I had a green pot noodle, which... What I eat in a day, Harvard Schedule Edition. We've been craving a Pizza Hut. So me and my friend Kieran went down to the Pizza Hut buffet. We had a salad bowl to start. I topped mine with loads of jalapenos. We had Blue Ranch as well. These pizzas were stunning. My first plate was two Hawaiian slices, a veggie slice, and a spicy chicken one. I think it was spicy chicken anyway. Look at the bloody cheese pole. Absolutely gorgeous. This pasta, oh my god, it was stunning. And this ice cream was delish as well. Then I went for an iced coffee down Cardiff Bay. I love an iced coffee. Then for tea i had billy bear ham sandwiches i love billy bear ham it just smacks every time and obviously i share my ham with my dog i put a dairy lee cheese string in there as well I tried this is what i eated today in bangkok uh first up i found this place and i just got something random i don't know this was like cabbage and pork it was interesting then i got pad kapow um and that was like solid then i got this mango because i'd be loving this mango and the chili stuff the crispy mango green mango and the salty chili i love, love, love it um then i got barbecue chicken because we were hungies and sticky rice and i did that in the fish sauce and munch and then for dinner i found this seafood place and it was lit like that this was on a monday night but it was still lit we got a beer and ice um and start off with the oysters and that. that was like a sweet chili sort of jam and fried garlic and then we got seafood salad and that was boosting um but that shit was hot that was spicy not gonna lie then we got 
fried fish, curry prawns, um, some greens on the side, and the fried fish and that seafood sauce was so friggin' good. Literally everything of this meal. Oh, and then we got fried squid, and that was just like plain fried squid, which was still tasty. But everything on this meal was honestly delectable. It was like the most awesome experience ever. And we got mango sticky rice, and it was really like the coconut cream was very salty, which was like good. Um, demolished that, and that was awesome. That was the most awesome dinner experience ever. Um, and then I keep getting soy milk before I go to bed, so I had a little soy milk and I sucked that up. Bye in a day. I visited this cute little cafe. It's called Cello's Cafe. It's in South Wales in Barry, and it was so cute. Started off with an iced coffee. And then me and mum had a tuna jack of potato, and obviously I had cheese and mayo. This was stunning. I seen their cream egg brownies and thought that looks absolutely gorgeous. I need one. They had so many options for milkshakes as well. I went for a Ferrero Rocher one. I gotta give it to them. This was one of the best milkshakes I've ever had. And this brownie, wait till you see inside. It was so gooey and stunning. I could literally eat it all over again right now, to be honest. And then for tea, I had sausage and mash, and I dropped the gravy on my white t-shirt. I love sausage and mash. What I do. I eat in a day as a fit girl who doesn't track her calories. I started off the day at Tim Hortons, unfortunately. Your girl is trying to chill on her Starbucks addiction. When I got to work, I made my lovely oatmeal bowl. It had shredded coconut, peanut butter, banana, and it was super creamy, super good. Oh, and by the way, I ate the full banana. Yeah, you can eat the full banana. I then almost yacked on my coffee because it tasted like lake water, and Lake Ontario water is not cute. Time for lunch. I had this pineapple fried rice that I made the other day, plus the salmon that I had in the fridge, and this is me literally banging my head on my new standing desk it really gets in the way i had nowhere to eat oh and this is just your reminder that you can eat carbs and be healthy and perfectly fine because carbs are not the devil shocker for a snack i had this apple apples are literally just so good as a snack because it just keeps my digestive system rolling for dinner my family ordered portuguese chicken we had rotisserie chicken this chickpea salad and rice again yes you can have rice two times in a day and i always gotta have dessert my mom made this like i don't know christmas crack it's not Christmas anymore, but like it's so good. It's like crackers with like caramel and chocolate. Mm. See you next time.